What's up everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Chronological Nuzlocke Challenge. Last time we went to the Safari Zone and caught some guys. Now we're going to be taking on the Poison Gym. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamt of becoming a ninja. So I joined this gym. Well, ninjas and magicians, they're basically the same thing. They disappear on a whim and they murder people by sawing them in half. Well, ninjas not so much, but you know. The magicians, they, they do that. They're kind of assholes about it. But Momo, I did uh, I did grind my guys up a little bit. Momo, I got to level 35 here so that you can see the magical moment. Level 36 for Momo. And another drowsy, so let's switch out of there, bring in schmuckers here. And do shockwave, double shockwave. I think, what has he got, four people? Let's switch into tank here. Let's just get everybody in here right away. Kadabra now, probably not a great spot for tank just because special attack uh, against tank's defense, not so good because tank's defense, uh, special defense is garbage, but it's fine. Survived, killed the Kadabra. We're high level now. Fluffy in here. We're getting everybody in here. Only one more person and then everyone gets in here. Used Ember there accidentally because I forgot that I moved uh, Flame Mole to the first spot. I'd forgotten I did that, because Flame Wheel is probably the move I'm going to use the most, so move it to the front. But that burn will kill Drowsy. That's the battle. Guess who's evolving? Oh, I'm super excited. Momo's evolving again to the final form. Now, this is his final form. It's over, it's, it's, his power level's over 9,000, getting into his final form. Of the Pidgeot! Oh, Pidgeot's so boss. Look at that. Look at that beastly motherfucker right there. Just so good. Now he's now he's kinda more like Appa. Maybe maybe Momo should be changed to Appa. I don't know. We fly around on Appa, not Momo. So attack's good there. Got a final form. Pidgeot. Uh Move Schmuckers in there now. Pidgeot, you go right there where you belong. Alright, so you can actually see the walls here, those little white spots on the floor. It's not a very well hidden wall. I'm just gonna go there. I was I also studied the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninjas have a long history using animals. Shouldn't they be ninjas? I don't know. Is the plural of ninja ninja or is it ninjas? You got uh, Tamer Edgar, he's got a cool ass Arbok. Our box are pretty sweet. I mean, like, it's Cobra backwards. That's pretty sweet. And Schmuckers, don't die on me, bro. Alright. We saved it. We saved it. We get we got Tank in here now with the Surf on the Sand Slash. Sand Slash, not going anywhere. Yeah, it's a ground type. Why is there a ground type in the Poison Gym? That doesn't make any sense. But we got another Arbok here. Let's get Momo in there. Birds, birds, love, the, birds love the snakes. They're delicious. They're so delicious. Om nom nom. Intimidate's gonna take shit down, but you know what we can do? Feather dance! Yeah, that's right. Dance, dancing with dance with feathers. Attack sharply fell. So, you know what? Yeah. How would you like that? Fly. Didn't do too much. Paralyze now, so that's not great, but... Two wing attacks here. We'll uh, finish off this Arbok. Momo. Nice job defeating Edgar. That's a great job. Good job, everyone. Let's go heal up since everybody is like a uh, status. So, yeah. The Xbox One working pretty good still. I'm sure. I'm still not sure what uh, game I'm gonna play next. Uh, whether it's gonna be Rise, Son of Rome, or if I'm gonna play Dead Rising Three. Probably. Probably Dead Rising Three because like Rise, Son of Rome is sort of like. I'd call it the same kind of genre as Assassin's Creed, as in, like, the historical... I don't, I don't want to call it historical reenactment, but, like, a game that's in the past and you're fighting with swords and shit, where Dead Rising is more open world and it's a different type of game. I think Dead Rising 3 would be more different... It would be different than... More different than Assassin's Creed 4 to, to Rise. The famed invisible walls of Fuchsia City. Have you frustrated? No, I can actually... They're not invisible. I can see them. They're right on the floor. Not that hard. So Sand Slash here. K 
can't use schmuckers because of, you know, the, the ground against the uh, electricity. Electricity you can't really use that well. But we got Arbok here. Let's bring Momo back in. Momo's got to get some redemption against this, this stupid Arbok. But there's fucking Arbox. God damn it. Glared me again. Doing stupid shit. All right. Momo with the kill again. I'm not running out of here. Fuck that. Actually, I got Momo in the wrong spot. I realized that last fight, but I didn't change it. Just gonna use the Paralyzed Heal. I got, like, a ton of money, so that's fine. And... I gotta also figure out when I'm gonna get my PS3 fixed. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? I descended from, from your mama! Actually, I descended from my mama. Uh, because I think I gotta get it fixed uh, for March when the Final Fantasy X and X2 HD drop, which I am excited for. I haven't played Final Fantasy X or X2 in in a long time, so I'm actually really excited for them. I That was the first Final Fantasy games that I played. I stupidly, actually, I don't know if I've said this before on a Let's Play, but I actually played X2 before I played X, not realizing X2 was a sequel. I don't know, I was like 12 or whatever when that shit came out. I didn't realize it. I was just like, oh, because I got, uh, I remember it was a Black Friday sale, surprisingly. Black Friday just happened. It's very relevant to this. It was a Black Friday sale, and I got Final Fantasy X2 and Prince of Persia, the Warrior Within, uh, during the Black Friday sale. And I played Final Fantasy X2, and then after I beat the game, I think I realized, oh, that was a sequel? And then I looked at the back of... I, I think I started playing Warrior Within. And they t started talking about some shit. And I was like, is this is this a sequel too? And I look on the back of the game box for Warrior Within. And it said, sequel to the game of the year. And I was like, well, fuck, I ain't doing that mistake again. So I ordered... Uh, I think I bought Prince of Persia Sands of Time off eBay then. And I played that first. And I'm happy I did that first. Because Sands of Time, fantastic game. I honestly, I, I have the, uh, well, I can't play it now because I don't have a PS3, but I have the Sands of Time. I did a Let's Play using it, actually. At least the second half of it, I used that. Um, the Sands of Time PS3 disc. I started it on the PC because I didn't have uh, an actual good recording device, but... Sometimes, uh, back when I, had it on, when I played it on the PS2, I would just play... The, the PS2 game, just one go. Just say, fuck it, we're gonna beat this all right now. It's done. And it's like just under four hours I can beat it in, so it's not that long in just one go. Alright, Koga, let's fight this motherfucker. <laughs> A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Don't know what mirth is, but you know. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Fwa! I don't ever understand the fwa. The fwa! I don't understand that. But Koga's got some super powered po uh, Pokemon. And coughing level 27 um, is one of the least powerful. There's a lot higher levels in this, so. Use the hyper potion. That's great. Yeah, just keep using your hyper potions. Alright, so Schmuckers gets the kill on the coughing. You got a muck now. I'm gonna bring out. I'm gonna go with Bubblegum. Let's go Bubblegum here, see what Bubblegum can do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a minimize first. Oh, he's copying me! I'll do it again! Oh, use Toxic. That's shitty. Let's heal up. I don't want to have this Toxic on me, because Toxic's bad news. You're gonna use Minimize again. So we're basically on even footing here. Two Minimizes each. But Strength hits. You know who I can use and automatically hit every single time, no matter what? I'm gonna use Antidote again. I can use Schmuckers, and the uh, Shockwave automatically hits every time, no matter what, so... Although Strength has hit every single time, the Bubblegum's used it, so... I'm gonna use Hyper Potion, though. Strength misses there, and Toxic again. I'm gonna switch into Schmuckers here. Just because there's a bunch of Minimizes there, and Shockwave's able... Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's gonna hit every single time! Oh god, no! 
Schmucker's got fucking critical hit there! God damn it. What the hell is that? Alright, well, let's bring Momo in, I guess. Uh, we can use the wing attack. Hopefully we can get a hit in here. There we go. Wing attack does get the kill against Muck. Very nice. Alright, Momo and Bubblegum. Getting, getting some experience there, but fucking Schmuckers dies because bullshit crit... Critical hit hacks. Um, let's heal up here. Because I'm thinking I might use Bubblegum for, like, Sing. Against the the final Pokemon that Koga has, which is a Weezing at, like, level 42 or, like... Yeah, I think, like, a, around 42. So it's... There's a Toxic. Alright, let's see if I can beat this coughing. Uh, without switching out here. Uh, let's heal up quick. I just want to beat this coughing and then switch into... Oh god. Let's switch out. I don't have a chance here. Alright, let's bring Tank in. Tank will be able to get this last hit. Use a Surf. Fantastic. Tank gets the kill against the coughing. And last but not least, apparently, you got Weezing. Momo's not going to be any help right now, but Fluffy hasn't gotten in here yet, so I'm going to use Bubblegum. Hopefully get a Sing off. It would have been nice if I could have used Sand Attack. But let's hope Sing hit Sing hits right away. Very nice. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to minimize as much as possible. Oh, it's going to use a full heal. Okay. So let's use Sing again. Hits again, which is very nice with 55% accuracy. I'm going to use uh, minimize as much as possible. And hopefully Weezing just can't hit me. That's four minimizes. It's gonna use smoke screen, so my accuracy's down, which is not good. But uh, minimize will work every single time, no matter what. So that's six minimizes, and I'm poisoned. Wow, you fucking hit me! Jesus Christ. Okay, smoke screen misses. Let's use the antidote here. This is an intense battle, I gotta say. Okay, let's use some strengths. Hopefully, I hit even with the smoke screen. See how much that does? That does just under a quarter, I'm thinking, about one-fifth, probably. Hits me with another smoke screen, but you know what? Weezing's not going to be hit me very much. Especially, like, I wanted to get the minimizes off. off, Especially because Winnem uh, Weezing... Winnemize. What the hell was I talking about there? Uh, Weezing could have explosion. So one more strength that we can get past this Weezing. Hits it! Weezing's done! Very nice! Although we lost Schmuckers, we defeated that fucking Weezing, and it was... What was it, the Muck that killed the Schmuckers? Jesus. Humph. You have proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. And I get some monies. Now that you have the Soul Badge, the defense of your Pokémon raises. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. I received TM6, I believe it's toxic. Yeah, it's toxic. Secret technique dating back. Some 400 years. That's pretty good technique you got there, but I need to... Uh, I'll just use Antidote. I can buy more Antidotes at the store. If I'm going to get more Lemonades, i got to go all the way back to Celadon. So we defeat Koga! Although we lost Schmuckers, so we got to do a burial ceremony for Schmuckers. Very disappointing. Honestly, I don't know where I'm going to get another Electric-type, but I do have some good Pokémon... Uh, in the box, so... I know there's... Uh, I got my Hitmonlee and my Rhyhorn. I forget what is before it. I'm pretty sure I got some Pokemon in there before. Yeah, that's right. I got the Ditto and Edward Jr., but alright. So, let's first of all take Schmuckers. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, I couldn't protect you. And just right next to Summer there. You got Summer... Dirty Dan, Tyson, Summer, and Schmuckers. Uh, we got Copycat here. Not really useful. Sorry, Ditto. You're gone. Edward Jr., you're also gone. See you later. So we got Hitmon, Lee, and Rhyhorn. Let's move Rhyhorn up to the front, because Captain Kick is going to be a member of the team. I got I to gotta grind a little bit in order to get Captain Kick all the way up to... The other people's level, but let's see what Captain Kick has. Captain Kick, that's, that's a funny name. 
All right. So we got Captain Kick at the fighting gym. It's limber, so it will not be paralyzed. It has rolling kick, jump kick, brick break, and focus energy. So it's got a bunch of fighting moves. Kind of like I'm replacing Tyson here now. So let's heal up here. And I have an idea of where I want to go now. Now that I have Surf, I'm going to go to the Safari Zone, but I want to go somewhere else first. Because I actually can get an electric type there, and I'd like an electric type. You might know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, you're going to find out soon. Let's get Captain Kick ahead of Cutter there. And we're going to fly to Cerulean City! Actually, I think I can fly to closer, actually, than Cerulean City, even. I think I can fly to the Dark Tunnel. Yeah, the Rock Tunnel. I can fly all the way here. And you may think you know where I want to go. You're right. Nope, not here. There's Neckins. Feast upon it. Yeah, all right. We're going to be heading down to the power plant. There are some electric types there, I know that. Tank. Let's take a ride. First ride on Tank. That kind of actually does look like a cloister a little bit. So let's get out of there. Whoa, there's a scientist dude. What's up? Wow, you came all... You... Wow, you came all the way here? Maybe you're a Pokemaniac too. Want to see my collection? Want to all see my Pokemans? Mm. So we got Pokemaniac Mark here. He's got a Rhyhorn. That's cool. You know, I, I caught a Rhyhorn. You can't do shit to my tank. Because I got Surf. You're dead. Momo up level 37. Also with Lickitung. So let's just leave Tank in here since everyone's leveled to the place they're supposed to be. And I'm just going to have to grind in order to get Captain Kick up. And heck, the the power plant might be a good place to get Captain Kick's uh, levels up here. Who knows? Tank up to level 38. So we defeated Pokemaniac Mark. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm not even mad. You can just, you can see my collection. It's super good. <laughs> All right, so we get we get the power plant here. Very nice. Let's see what's inside. All right, let's see what we can find here in the power plant. And it's a max potion. That's pretty good. So the first Pokemon we find in here, it's gonna be an electric type. Everything in here is an electric type. It will replace Schmuckers. Let's see who we have here. It is an Electabuzz. Holy shit! Wow, I did not expect an Electabuzz. Thinking I'd find probably a Magnemite, but. Momo, probably not the best bet in the electric, uh, against an electric type, so let's bring Bubblegum in. She's got the Sing, and that will work out pretty well against this Electabuzz. And it's actually infatuated with love, too. I forgot about that cute charm. That will actually make Bubblegum a lot more helpful for this, but the Sing misses there. Not infatuated by love, unfortunately. But we get the Sing to work, and I think one hit with the Strength will be enough to get it down far enough, but we will see how far it goes. It's just under half, so that's not bad. Uh, I think I can catch this Electabuzz with uh, with the Great Ball. Uh, a little under halfway and asleep, so... Hopefully this Great Ball will catch it. There we go. Wow, okay, so it only got one. Uh, let's just keep chucking Great Balls until we catch this thing. I really don't want to try and hit it again, at least with Bubblegum. Maybe a Brick Break would work, because with Strength it's also Stab and does more damage than Brick Break will, but let's just put it to sleep here. And I'm down to 54, so if it wakes up again and hits me, I might die. So let's use a Lemonade here in order to get my Bubblegum's health all the way back up. And just uh, keep chucking balls, like I said. I mean, I only have 10, so I might have to take a risk just to be sure. But hopefully not. This Oh, I, I thought it was there. I really did game you were complete right almost had it all right so let's throw another ball i'm not gonna hit it yet hopefully this does it if it doesn't i might have to attack and wow it did nothing shit all right well i think i gotta go for the brick break hope it doesn't kill come on don't kill don't kill don't kill yes all right just barely fucking live there just got a sliver of health left Let's hope the sing. All right, we got the sing to work. This should, if this doesn't work, it's crazy. 
So sliver of health left. Great ball. We got one, two, three. What? Are you kidding me? What? What do I have to do, Electabuzz? What do I have to do? All right, one more. This better do it. I mean, honestly. Two. Come on. Yes! We caught the Electabuzz! All right, let's take a look at this Electabuzz in our Pokedex. It's a grassland Pokemon. It loves to feed on strong electricity. It occasionally appears around large power plants and so on. Well, let's give this Electabuzz a nickname. So I'm going to go along with the Captain Kick thing. And I'm going to call this Electabuzz Sergeant Shock. Because why not? I just think it's funny. I don't know why. Sergeant Shock. And if I did the Sergeant thing wrong, somebody can tell me and I can fix it at the, uh, the nickname place. But we're in the power plant now and I think I should go back and heal up before I continue any further on in here with all these dangerous electric types. Oh god, Momo should not be out in front. It's probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna go heal up by the rock tunnel and then come back and just stand at the entrance and then I'll probably end the episode there since uh, it seems like a pretty good place to, to end it. So everyone's healed up now. We got a new Pokemon, a couple new Pokemon. Well, at least one new one in the team anyway. Electabuzz is the only new one that I captured. Captain Kick! And I might uh, level up Captain Kick here in the power plant while I'm... while I'm in between episodes here and get him all the way up to like, you know, 36 or so. But... That is all for this episode, so I will thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.